My name is Walter Rurick. I'm a professor here at the Naval War College and a director of the Arctic Studies Group and a co-lead scholar of the Newport Arctic Scholars Initiative. Oh, it's the first initiative of its kind that brings together sailors and scholars from Arctic nations to conduct collaborative uh, multidisciplinary research on security and defense related issues. The sailors bring kind of the, the practical knowledge, the operational experience, and the real world experience that, that their navies are dealing with today. And you pair that up with some of the, the brightest and best minds in, in, in the region and um, you, you get a pretty unique and strong uh, force there. Well, my name is uh, Lars Ornes. I'm a former CNO of Norway. Uh, I'm co-leading this Newport Arctic uh, Scholar Initiative. You know, the Arctic uh, is uh, developing fast with the climate change. And I say, you know, climate change and serenity issues in the Arctic is like yin and yang. So what's new in the Arctic? Well, the Arctic is opening up, establishing new frontier for nations to cope with. So if you look at it from the Pacific, what does the Arctic mean for them? You can look at it from the Russian side, they have a piece of it. You can look at it from the US-Canadian side, they have a third piece of it. Or you can look at it from the Atlantic side, which is the blue, more high in North Arctic. So they all distinguish different regions, but no one has before taken a whole Arctic uh, approach to the problem in the Arctic. So that is what we're trying to do, to see when you get new frontiers, the ice is diminishing, you open up for exploration, these frontiers may create security uh, issues among those nations. So what we are going to study is what are the risks and opportunities as the Arctic opens. My name is Gail Rivapiché. I'm a strategic analyst with Defence Research and Development Canada based in Ottawa and I work with the Royal Canadian Navy. The objective of the Newport Sea Power, Arctic Sea Power Initiative is uh, to uh, enhance cooperation and uh, deepen our knowledge of uh, different strategic issues in the region, uh, including awareness, uh, readiness, as well as confidence building measures in order to enhance cooperation and ensure a peaceful, stable and open uh, Arctic. And so the objective is really to see uh, how we can work together and to deepen our knowledge on these issues in order to inform our governments. The Arctic is, is changing and, and changing fast and it's you know there's a rapidly melting polar ice cap, there's the shortest trade route linking Asia, Europe and North America. We see an increased abundance and distribution of fish and minerals, uh, potentially one-third of the world's untapped hydrocarbons and so these these factors coupled with a, a new era of um, strategic competition among great powers um, brings new rise and new significance to, to the Arctic and so it's important that our decision makers think about the Arctic as we think about our broader grand strategy. What's happening in the Arctic has a global impact. It's, you can look at it from so many angles and I, I'm so thrilled to have scholars and uh, military professionals from all these countries coming together, share their experience, knowledge uh, for the benefit of us all. That, that is really the key of success today.